The Apostle John said the purpose of this gospel is that we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Now in writing of these events, John urges us to believe, to trust in Jesus, who paid the penalty for your sin by dying on the cross. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not die, but have eternal life. I am telling you the truth. Those who hear my words and believe in him who sent me have eternal life. And eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ whom you sent. But these have been written in order that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God and that through your faith in him, you may have life. Now this means two things. We need to agree with Jesus that we have sinned against the Holy God, and there are wrongs in our life, no matter how small they may seem to be. And we need to rely on the fact that Jesus paid fully for our sin by his death on the cross, the death that we deserve. When we do this, immediately God freely gives us eternal life. Now when the Apostle Thomas was confronted with this reality, he could only exclaim, My Lord and my God. Right now, if you are willing, you can have peace with the living God when you make the following affirmation. I affirm I have sinned against the perfect God. I affirm that the death of Jesus on the cross completely paid for my sin. And I rely on Jesus' payment for my sin to receive life everlasting and a perfect standing before God. My Lord and my God.